Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reggie Winston coming right back at you with an update. In my last video, I showed you the brand new Andis Corliss T outliners. And in the video, I mentioned that one of my cons was it was definitely not easy and straightforward with the zero gapping. But thanks to Eric Cheek down in Charlotte, North Carolina, who is also an Andis educator, he gave me the how to and the advice on how to definitely line these blades up and get them zero gap these blades are have not been modified but i definitely achieved the zero gap method and in this video i'm gonna show you how to do it and as you can see right now i'm touching the line way too many times this is right out of the box just trying to use the trimmers but now that they're zero gap they're one hit quitters. so thank you again to eric cheek for showing me how to get these things zero gap i'm really enjoying these trimmers if you have them I'm, I'm sure this video may help you and if you don't have them this video will help you as well when you do get them because these are the hottest things on the market right now everybody want a pair of these thank you for liking the video thank you for all those that have subscribed if you're not come on jump on we're still in the first hundred come on join the party we're gonna keep on dropping videos left and right shout out to all those people to leave comments if you have any questions about anything i'm doing please leave a comment. I do my absolute best to reply in a timely fashion. This is Reggie Winston and together we gonna make barbers better. Y'all just enjoy the video. Appreciate you. Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Reggie Winston and I'm trying to figure out how to zero gap the T outliner. This is the cordless, this is the cordless T outliner and it is quite a bit tricky to zero gap. So let's get the right tool bit first. I'll try to go the small one. I've actually already tried this but I didn't have any luck so we're going to try it again together I'm going to remove this all the way off there we go. now as you can see this blade is different from the regular T outliner blade it actually has a rotary motor and it has like a spring mechanism inside or attached to the blade. All right, so that's off. Hope you can see that right there. So this is quite tricky. This is the piece right here inside of the clipper as you can see. It has these springs, they go into these two grooves and the actual head for the rotary motor goes in here. So, what I have to figure out is how do I adjust this? So, I've already tried doing this before, like I said, and I didn't have any luck. So I'm gonna unscrew those a little. Now actually, I'm gonna go a little bit more than I did the first time. First time I did like half turns and I didn't have any looks. All right, so I actually got that to move now. So that's a lot of play in that now. And we're gonna eyeball this, all right? Give me a second. Yeah, I got it loose like I want it. I'm gonna tighten it up just a little bit. Right. Just a little tension. Tighten that one up a little more. Put it back some. Alright. So we know this is a no no. Let's see what we can do with there. And we're gonna eyeball this. If don't get it right, we'll just try it again, right?
All right. This actually looks pretty decent. And to test it, y'all just wanna rub your finger. Let's hold it down while we do it. So you wanna rub your finger this way. This side might be a little issue. Let's get a little closer look at this. Oh yeah, I think we're in there now. All right, so I gotta make sure that this piece here matches up with the head in there and the springs match up. So let me get a closer look at this. I'm gonna see if I can put the, the cutting blade on without putting the steel blade on. Gotta match those springs. All right. So, sorry about that. Let's move this blade over. So. Steel blade on. I usually wouldn't do TI liners like this, but because of that mechanism that actually moves a moving blade, I took that chance. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put these screws on just a little bit, just so we can have some type of uh, security with the blade. I'm not gonna screw it all the way down, but you get the point. All right, let me put this one in. I hope these work. I'll definitely be testing these out tomorrow in the shop. What's different, like you can see, like most TI liners come with a tension screw and it the tension ball and all of those, you know, that thing that comes with most magnetic motors. But these don't have that. They have springs in them though. Okay, something. I need to verify that these springs are attached properly. Yep, I know. Yep, I'm glad I did that because that definitely was out of place. There we go. Sound like we got something. Let's see. As you can see, this is quite difficult. It's not the easiest thing to do. Double check the blade. Oh yeah. That looks pretty good. One side may be just a little higher than the other. But it's very minimal. Darn, I think I did good this time. Oh yeah. Tighten this thing on up. After I tighten it up, I definitely cut it on. See what it sound like. 
if I didn't align the screw, excuse me, if I didn't align the mechanism that moved the blade and the springs correctly, it would definitely make a crazy loud sound. Let's try it out. Oh yeah. of myself no pain oh yeah I like to test it also on the inner elbow I like to test those corners I think I got it. I think I got it. Yeah. It looks pretty good now. Excuse me. There we go. Clean that all. Yeah. Hope you can see that. That looks pretty good. Can't wait to try these out tomorrow. Definitely. I will definitely let you know how it works out.